Designers from all over the world whose creations paid homage to the influence of African culture showcased their original pieces at the annual Accra Fashion Week. It's the only fashion week to bring over 30 countries to one location, showcasing and from the West, from US, from UK, from Seychelles, from Togo, Nigeria, everywhere. Um, we want to take it international. We're hoping that we'd also get more Western designers involved. And it, the reason why we started it is because a lot of fashion shows are focused on the more entertainment part of the fashion, whereas we want to focus on the business and the trade side. And with the rise of a more culturally conscious generation of designers, appropriation of African culture in fashionable and functional wear is steadily growing. I definitely think that the African fashion is booming right now. You see a lot of uh, Nigerian designers on the runway, even Ghanaian designers uh, in London and New York. Um, and it's in vogue, it's all around the world. Designers also showcased the influence globalization has had on Africa's design aesthetics. I love mixing African prints with other fabrics from, from Europe and maybe from Asia. I can put just a little bit of African print on it just to show that it was... I, I don't like to lose myself completely. I love something that identifies me as an African designer. It's rare for Fashion Week to be held twice a year in Africa, but organizers are pleased with the results here. And Africans tend to love the Western clothes in as much as we wear our African prints every day. So for me, as an African child who grew up in Nigeria and also in Ghana, I've lived with wearing aesthetics from Ghana, from Nigeria. But then I want to be able to mix this African taste and European standard. African designers continue to stitch their way through the fashion calendar, aiming to expand the space of Africa's influence on the global scene. Beryl Oro, CGTN.